Hey brothers and sisters, I hope you have an amazing day today. I want to greet you out in the name of God, the Father of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Don't forget to like, subscribe, turn on, turn on notifications for future videos, and also don't forget to leave a comment, comment if, if you have any questions or concerns. So anyway, today I just wanted to make a video to talk about the term that tomorrow is never promised. And this is something that most people make light of. And uh, me personally, I'm guilty of this also. This is something to make light of. And we may think we have to have tomorrow, but but let me tell y'all this. Why did why you have go out and spread the gospel? I will tell that 100, 140,000 people die every single day. And you have no idea when you're going to be the next person. You don't know when when death is going to claim your life. And if God were to ask, ask were to demand your life right now, demand your life at at the end of the day, I bet you live your mo your life life to the fullest every moment to your fullest. Would you? Yeah, you would, because you because you because that'll be the time when you depart from this world to the next. And before I do go deep into the topic, I'm gonna read from James chapter four four verses thirteen to fourteen. And it says, Go to now, ye that say to today or tomorrow, we will go to such a city and continue there a year, buy and sell and we that gain. Where is ye know know not what shall be on tomorrow? For what is your life? It is that it is a, even a vapor that appear for a little time and then vanish away. Pretty sure y'all know I've been to Atlanta, Georgia. And I, I say in Georgia for like a week. And no, it wasn't. It wasn't just to have fun, or it wasn't for to go out and party, do do this and that, go out to eat and all that. But I'll admit, the food I I did, I did get from takeout. It was pretty good. But anyway, the reason I even went to Georgia in the first place, with, along with my family, was cause to visit my dying great grandmother. I'll admit, she did live a long life. And the reason we were visiting her because she had congestive heart failure. And she was getting ready to move on to, the, to this life, to the next, to be with the Lord. And that's why we had, we spent it, spent it most, most of our moments speak, speaking to her. And she was, she was still hanging on to this life because she, because one of the last things she wanted was to see, to see me, to see my grandfather, to see my mother and, and my aunt. Even though she didn't came, but no, no bash here for that. She has has her own thing going on, but the and and also see my cousins also, and that's why she was she was she was still still here. She was still living, living in this in this realm. And it, and it's honestly it's kind of it, for my mother. It was sad. I admit it was sad for, sad for me too. But the fact that I had to see her in a state in a state like that. But I'm glad I was able, able to, to speak with her, speak with her for the last time. And one, one of the tips she she gave gave me about spreading the gospel, and even my grandpa would be telling me this is that don't push don't push the gospel out to anyone. If they don't listen, then they don't listen. Like it is what it is. But anyway, it was it was sad. And when we were leaving, we were we saw my my aunt. From my grandfather, my, from my mother's side, was was crying, you know, like like my gra grandfather's sister, basically. She was crying because she's getting ready to move on to the le next life. And after that, we left, and I'm back here in, in South Florida. And one of the things I learned about death is that you gotta live your life to the fullest, man. You gotta do, you gotta do every, do what you gotta do, man. And also, it, it shows us this, this how, how, how weak we are, how fragile humans really are, and also it shows that, that we don't because that to God. No matter how many years pass for us, rather we live to the age of ninety, rather we live to the age one hundred. To to God, that's like that's like a that's like a day. <laughs> one thousand heck, one thousand years is like a day to the Most High, because again. God lives outside of space and time, brothers and sisters. And one of the main things I learned about death is that 
You need to live your life to the fullest. Like, take take more risk. And also another another thing. Dang. What was it, what was it gonna what was it gonna say? But anyway, so brothers, y'all need y'all need to live your life to the fullest. Like I'm telling y'all right now, I'm encouraging y'all to live your life to the fullest. Cause if you if you if you're right here right now, scrolling on social media, watching watching the going on the hub, going on the websites, masturbating, and yes, all that is a sin. It's are we like honestly ask yourselves what are you accomplishing doing that like like ask yourselves uh, ask yourselves what are you accomplishing because the thing is men were never meant to chase out the pleasure we were meant to build build go after our purpose go after the mission go out and go after god not the women though i'm not bastard them or anything but it's the truth i i probably said this on my last video Men were meant to build. Were meant to build things, not only physically but spiritually as well. Mentally, mentally, emotionally, we are meant to build build things and all that. Build up, build our life. You know, like build our kingdom. And you're not gonna do that if you're just sitting there scrolling on social media and wasting your life. And if you're, and let's say you, and let's say you're on your deathbed. And you think about all the time you wasted, wasted during, you, uh, wasted during during your lifetime, and now you're on your deathbed with regrets, and only that you didn't give your life to Jesus, and you're got and you're about to spend an eternity in hell. Because I tell y'all this, having a relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ is one of the best decisions you make. It's one of the best things you could, you could build with the build build. One is the best is a great thing to build the Lord, to build a platform with the most high. Give me the resources and he, he I need to to encourage y'all on your walk with Christ. And you're gonna and it's gonna and it's gonna hurt. And I tell y'all this regret regret hurts much more than rejection. Did you know that? Yeah, it's pretty tough. And that goes back to to tell y'all, tomorrow's never promised. Never promised to anyone, not even me. Cause who knows? Probably by the end of in a month, God made the man my life. And if he and if he said that to me right now, I'll make sure to live my I'll make sure to live my life to the fullest. I make I'll make sure make sure to to get things things done, get chat or whatever whatever I may do to do something do in my life i'll make sure to do it before god demands my life i don't know when god made demand my life i don't know why when i may depart depart from this world i don't know if i may die this die this age or not i don't know that's in god's will only god knows what goes when we'll leave this when we will leave this world, earth and that's why it's so important brothers and sisters that y'all need to do something in your lives Again, I said this in my last video. Do something with your life. Take take more risk. Climb a mountain. Get it. Go 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 do boxing. Get a do a boxing fight. Start a YouTube channel. Build a business. Get chat. Go join. Hey, join the Olympics. Olympics. Yes, I know. I know what they did. I know they mocked the last supper. I get it. But at least, but but the thing is, there's competitors who who work very hard to get. To get there, get get there, and be on TV. They work very hard, so don't this don't discredit them, and don't discredit yourself either. If you're trying to go to the Olympics, go to the Olympics. You shoot shoot your shot. Take the risk. And if if you did all those things and you're on your deathbed, you're not gonna have any regrets, and you're gonna you're gonna be happy that you, you lived a fulfilling life, and that you had a fulfilling relationship with the Lord. And not and not only only that, you need have a relationship with, shit with God. And it's very essential for the essential when you're living this life, because the thing is, it's important that we do need guidance and direction every single day, because we don't want we don't want the world telling us what to do, do we? Mm, no, not not saying that that you can't take advice, you can't take the constructive criticism. And I'll admit, I do struggle struggle with that also, but 
I'm still I'm still working on that. But anyway, anyway, back back to the point is that that build a relationship build a relationship with God because you do need that guidance and you do need help for your if you want your plans to be established. Hey, hey, he might he might overdo your plans so that you could you could be so that he he could bring his plans to your life. Which is which is far better than than you can imagine. His purpose is far better than better. The for, purpose for your life is far far better than you could imagine. Anyway, I think that's that's about it, guys. There's no tomorrow, and that's one of the things I learned about death. And that we're we're fragile, and we don't have. We don't really have much time in this life because life will go by like life will go by just like just like that, and you probably won't even notice it. And I'm a I'm gonna be a senior this year. And I'm kind of I'm kind of surprised that that my high school years went by that quick. So live your moment, live live life to the fullest, brothers and sisters. Live every moment to the fullest. That's all I got. Pray this video helps anyone on their walk with Christ. And do pray this helps you video. This this helps you go go out and take more risk and live life to the fullest. And other and one last last thing. There's no sin on being being the greatest greatest you could be. Be the best being the best version of yourself in in Christ. Being the greatest in Christ. There's no sin in that, guys. And I do pray this encourages you to be the greatest greatest. The best you could be, and this helps you, helps you along the way. Don't be religious. Follow Christ. Don't forget to like, subscribe, turn on notifications, and leave a comment if you like the video.